Digital Toolcase back again with another video about Breakdance Builder for WordPress because as you can see on October 31 uh, there is this new 1.1 Beta 1 release. It's in beta, it's not an official release but uh, uh, there are many 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 interesting things and I want to show you something. I will not show you all these new things so after watching my video if you want uh, click on the link uh, below in my description uh, you will reach uh, this page where you can see all the new uh, features inside uh, breakdance builder and you can watch this video made by Louis Reingold uh, he's uh, way better than me in explaining how uh, breakdance works uh, so here you can see all the new features in uh, really really great details anyway I already made a breakdance review some weeks ago uh, I'll leave you the link here in the description and in the video if you want to watch it breakdance is my new website builder and I think this builder will be one of the absolute best on the market if you don't believe me please uh, watch my review watch these uh, new futures and then you will tell me this is just uh, a 1.1 beta version the official 1.1 will be released late november as you can see here but for being a, a new website builder it's uh, really really advanced and uh, at the same time uh, really easy to use if you want you can also try breakdance for 30 days for free uh, by clicking on the link here below you will reach this page that you can click on here on 30 days free trial you can try it on your server for free and then decide if you want to purchase it and be aware of the fact that at the moment uh, the price is in uh, promotion limited time offer for 149 dollars every year for unlimited sites and uh, Louis Reingold uh, has been uh, really clear this price will go up uh, will go up will go to 349 dollars yearly so if you like the idea of breakdance builder if you like this builder don't wait too much because uh, uh, he said that the price will increase i don't know when maybe uh, I, I think another one or two months will uh, stay the same uh, but uh, again this price will surely go up so take advantage of this promotion if you like breakdance anyway let's go here in this uh, long list of uh, announcements for this uh, uh, beta release many minor bug fixes obviously and then uh, many enhancement to uh, some of the elements inside breakdance some new elements I will show you something some new features for uh, WooCommerce I will show you something about this but uh, I suggest you to watch then this video that you find here and some new general features first of all I want to show you something here in the library section there is something new here because if I go uh, here as you can see you have now element demos and these are the same that I showed you last time maybe there is uh, something new here in this uh, list of uh, already made sections that you can use in your pages but now you also have these uh, fancy sections uh, really interesting because you can have something very very good for example this animated background or this uh, parallax background I will show you how it works uh, you have uh, for example pricing tables these are really good and already made obviously you can insert them in your page and customize them you have a call to actions for example uh, you have animated section creative sections let's try to add something in my page uh, I just need to click on 
this button, add to page, and here I have my section. Then I can add uh, one uh, more. For example, let's go here in anim animated sections. Uh, I will add this uh, parallax background. Someone was asking me on a comment if you can do parallax design in breakdance. Well, you can. Let me add another one. Uh, let's say, for example, a pricing table. Let's add uh, this one. And then uh, let's add another one. Here again, you have many, many uh, interesting sections. I like this. Okay, and as you can see, really quickly, I can add some already made section, then I can obviously customize them. So change the colors, change the content, change all what I want. And this is uh, one of the things uh, I, I found. They are new, they wasn't there in the previous version. And again, someone was asking me in the comments uh, if you can generate animations. Uh, you can do it really easily. For example, let's say I want to animate this image. I just need to select it. I go here on Advanced and Animations. As you can see, I can choose a scrolling animations, entrance animations. For example, I can choose a slide left. So when this section will load, this image will have this animation. I can even animate this one really, really quickly. It's uh, just an example to show you uh, how you can uh, set animation here in uh, breakdance. You have uh, uh, many types. You can um, make uh, everything sticky. In this case, you have uh, some scrolling animation. If you enable them and you have uh, uh, blur, uh, rotation, scale, uh, opacity, vertical position, horizontal position, and so on. So uh, really quick, I save this page now and I want to show you how it looks uh, in the front end. Let me uh, update this page. As you can see here, there was my animation when I loaded the page. Let me load it again. Okay. And then I have my sections here. This is a slider, really, really good slider. Now, let me show some of these new features. For example, there is a new repeater field support for advanced custom fields and for Metabox. This is for an advanced user. Uh, I will not show uh, this uh, function because I don't have uh, ACF uh, configured in my test site, but you can uh, watch this part here in uh, Louis video. There is a new multi-step uh, option in uh, your forms now. So let me add another uh, new section here. Now I can grab it there. Okay. I insert a form builder form builder here. And as you can see, I can now add some steps. I just need to add field, select here step. Uh, this will be, for example, uh, step one of my form. Now, if I uh, place it here, as you can see, I have a step one uh, indication in this case. Let's say I want to uh, leave only my uh, name field here and I want to create a second step so I can do add field. Uh, again, step. The name is step two. Okay. I move this one here. And as you can see now, in my step one, I have only the name field. If I click next step, I have uh, all the other fields. If I want to add a third step, I can do the same thing and place my third step wherever I want. Here I can also click on the previous step and it will go back. Really, really interesting. This is one of the most advanced uh, 
uh, form builder inside a WordPress site builder. Another interesting uh, new feature is this uh, draft sections. Let's say I'm building this page, but I, I'm not finished with this section and I don't want this section to appear on my front end. If I save this page now and uh, uh, I uh, reload the page, uh, as you can see, I uh, see my section here. But uh, if I select my section and I go here and go to advanced, I can set this section to draft. I can still see my section here and work on it, but if I save the page and I go uh, on the front end, uh, this section will not be displayed because it's in draft. This is really, really useful. Another good thing that was missing in Breakdance uh, is this one, Structure Panel Friendly Names, and it's uh, this part. As you can see, here I have standard names, but if I want, I can now give uh, custom names to all these uh, sections and elements just by clicking two times here, and I can uh, say uh, multi-step form. And this is my section. This one is uh, another section. I can call it, for example, uh, hero section and so on. Now, it's uh, really simple to identify my section, even when I have a really complex structure in this page, just by calling my section and my uh, other elements uh, how I want. Here I can even change form builder. I can call it, for example, form builder one or uh, whatever I want. Now let me show you some of these new elements. Uh, for example, uh, now in Breakdance you have uh, breadcrumbs. Uh, this is really interesting for SEO purpose. And if I grab these uh, uh, breadcrumbs here very quickly, uh, as you can see, please select a breadcrumbs integration because in order to use this function, you need to have or the Yoast SEO plugin or Rank Math plugin installed. I use Rank Math, so by clicking here, now I can have my uh, breadcrumbs. As you can see, uh, the parameters of these breadcrumbs are set inside the rank mat, but I can always change some parts of this. For example, uh, typography, I can choose another weight for this typography, I can choose another dimension and so on. This was missing, now it's here, really useful. We also have a back to top element uh, in some teams uh, you find this element, now you can insert it in breakdance, uh, as you can see here, uh, by uh, <laughs> scrolling the page, uh, you can also see this circle filling, really interesting, I like how it's made, and when you click here, you go on the top of the page. You can uh, choose between uh, different icons. You can even change your icon. Let's uh, place this one. As you can see, you can put whatever you want here. You can use only the icon without the uh, percentage filler, and you can also choose icon plus text uh, if you prefer. Really good, even this one. Another element you can find useful is the scroll progress. Let me place it here. Anyway, it will go here at the top of the page. And it's this one. When you are scrolling your page, as you can see, you see a bar that indicates where you are inside your page or your article. This is a really uh, useful for blog articles. You can configure it like this or uh, with a circle, for example, and in this case you have a filler. You can also show a percentage, as you can see, 
and you can also use the percentage here in the bar it's here you can even place it at the beginning if you want by changing your uh, uh, parameters here you can change the direction you can change the colors you can also move this scrolling line at the bottom of the page if you prefer like this you can change the sticky uh, position even if uh, you want it to be sticky to be honest here it doesn't make so much sense you now have also a table of content again this is really useful for blog articles usually you need to use external plugins to use this kind of element or uh, some kind of Gutenberg blocks. Here you can configure your table of content with uh, headings, uh, with uh, uh, colors, uh, with anything you need. You can change your borders, your background and so on, your uh, list uh, display you can choose if you want to collapse it or not uh, as you can see and you can choose if you want to show this table of content uh, here where it's uh, usually or if you want it to be fixed uh, like this and when you scroll the page your table of content uh, will stay there obviously you need to do this uh, when you have a blog article uh, because now as you can see it doesn't make any sense uh, to show in that position anyway you can do it another new element uh, it's the instagram uh, post <laughs> if you want to embed some kind of uh, instagram post you can do it really quickly here just by inserting your instagram post url here in the tabs element now you can choose your direction in this case by default you have uh, this kind of menu inside your tabs but now you can change it here to vertical and this can be really useful in uh, some kind of designs so this is uh, one of the enhancements you can find in this new release of breakdance you can even change the aspect of these buttons between these three uh, templates tabs peels and bar now let me show you very quickly something about uh, WooCommerce. As you can see, you have uh, many WooCommerce new uh, features and enhancements here. Uh, very quickly, I want to show you that now you have a quantity field. It's optional, obviously, so uh, you can choose if you want to show it or not. You can do it in uh, your single element by going here in the elements section quantity input for example or you can even do it in your global settings here in the woocommerce section you can even change uh, the aspect of this quantity uh, field here in the forms uh, fields uh, and advanced you have this quantity input uh, uh, parameters you can change uh, the color for example as you can see you can change the borders, uh, you can change uh, um, uh, the padding uh, and you can configure it uh, how you like. The same thing uh, happens here in this uh, mini cart. You have your quantity and when you uh, click uh, on the plus, for example, as you can see, it updates uh, the price. Uh, again, in this mini cart, you have now the possibility of uh, adding some extra um, blocks uh, if you create some global blocks with breakdance and add them before or after your content you can even add a continue shopping link for example uh, like uh, this as you can see you can configure it really as you like and this is just a small part of what you can do with uh, WooCommerce uh, here with the breakdance. Uh, again, if you want, uh, please watch my previous videos. And uh, I highly suggest you to go to this page. So click on the link you find here below in the description. You can watch this video made by Louis Reingold. You can from here even try 
breakdance for 30 days uh, and watch all the uh, really good enhancements. Uh, there are many more that I didn't show you. Uh, for example, uh, the, there is this video element really interesting. I want to show you this one before closing this video because I find it really useful for uh, site speed. Uh, let me add a video element. OK, as you can see, I added a video element really quickly. And uh, here now you have uh, some new interesting uh, parameter. Uh, for example, lightweight. If you use lightweight, uh, you can see here this is not your YouTube video embedded, but it's just the YouTube thumbnail. And this will save a lot on your loading page speed. Obviously, if you want, you can choose lazy load to load your video or the full embed. I highly suggest you to use this lightweight, really interesting. You can also uh, customize it. For example, if you want to make it like this, where you have uh, sample videos and so on, you can do it here in lightweight by choosing a title, my video for example, and so on. You can add a background image, a logo, and so on. And then you have some parameters for your video, for example, loop, mute, modest branding, hide player controls, play in line, start time and time, and suggested video. At the end of the video, you can choose if you want to show recommendations or only suggested video from your own channel. Really interesting. Even this one, obviously, you don't need to use YouTube. You can also use something else. As you can see, you can choose YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion, or you can embed your own uh, video link. Again, this is 1.1 beta 1. It will be released officially at the end of November, but you can already purchase Breakdance and try this beta release. Uh, click on the link you find here below. You will reach this page. If you want to download for 30 days for free Breakdance, uh, you can click on this button. Here you can watch the entire video for this beta release. Really interesting. You have a limited time offer for Breakdance, $149 yearly for unlimited sites. I think it's a really good price. You also have a 60 day money back guarantee. This price will go to $349. I don't know when, but it will happen. So if you like breakdance, take advantage of this uh, limited time offer. And if you want to see why I like breakdance so much, please click here and you can watch my previous video. Please uh, click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and see you soon with another video.